Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and we've got something cool that you gotta check out. Playback controls. I know you can hit the space bar, but did you know you can play around pre-roll, post-rolls, go back to the beginning, not go back to the beginning. Lots of great things, I promise it will be useful. All right, whether you're coming from a different platform like Final Cut or uh, Media Composer or you're brand new and just Premiere Pro is your first uh, tool for editing video, there's some really important controls that you should learn about playing back video to help you go back and check and edit. Does the edit work and loop and things like that? So let's go have a look. So one of the first things um, I wanna show you is something that, that uh, some people do complain about and that is when you get to the end in Premiere Pro, it goes back to the beginning when you hit play. And if you go to the edit menu on Windows in the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, if you go to preferences, general, at playback end, return to the beginning. So if you turn that off, click OK. Now, when it gets to the end, and if I hit the space bar, it won't go back to the beginning. Uh, I, I've just been used to that since the beginning of time with Premiere Pro, so I leave it on. Next up is the way that the timeline looks. So if you zoom in, you'll see there's the playhead. And when I play, if I'm zoomed in far enough, it's going to page scroll. So you can see it jumps to the next page and continues on. Back in the preferences, you can change whether it's page scroll, no scroll, or smooth scroll. Let's look at no scroll. So now when it goes out of view, remember this is not when you're zoomed all the way out. This is when you're zoomed in. So when the playhead moves outside of the area, it is now playing a different part of the uh, um, different part of the sequence. So if we zoom back in again, let it go out of view. And when I tap the space bar again, it's going to take me where the playhead is. The last one, back in general, is a smooth scroll. And the way this works is let's go back um, outside here, start playing you'll notice that the playhead stays in the beginning, stays in the middle. And if we go back over here, it's always gonna jump into the middle. That's the smooth scroll option. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. So I like to go back to just the regular page scroll. All right. Now, another one is pre-roll and post-roll. And the default is three seconds pre, two seconds post. This only works if you have an in and out point in the timeline, not where your playhead is. If you think the playhead's here and you hit post roll, it jumps back, it won't. The keyboard shortcut for, for uh, pre-roll, post roll, because they're both the same, they're both within the same command, is shift spacebar. So with no, no endpoint, shift spacebar takes me back to the beginning. So I'm gonna grab an in and out point here, hit the I key and the O key, and now I have an in and out. If I hold shift, it's now gonna jump to the pre-roll, and finish on the post roll. Back in the preferences in playback, you'll see there's a pre-roll and a post roll and uh, the default, uh, if I remember, is three and two. And now when I click OK, shift space, we jump out that far and it goes back and two seconds later. Okay, you, it also works that way up here in the, um, so let me open up a longer clip. And it works the same in the source monitor. So I've got an in and out point shift space. It jumps however many seconds back. Now let me show you one thing that currently is uh, probably a bug. If I have loop, either in the program or the source monitor, so I have the loop button on, which by the way, if you click in here, the button editor and drag it down, I now have loop on. You'd expect this to pre-roll and post-roll and loop, shift, space, it jumps to the end point, not where I would expect, which would be there. 
Um, that might be a bug. Um, so if you're not jumping to pre-roll, go have a look at your uh, loop command and or loop setting and see if that's on. And loop, by the way, is Control L on Windows, Command L on Mac. I just like to drag that down so I always have that loop and I can see when I'm looping or when I'm not looping. All right, the next one's really easy. Um, it's play around, Shift K. Wherever the playhead is, it's going to play around that area for you. If you have loop on, it's gonna play around and loop in that area. And you can use this to help look at a certain, uh, so if I jump down up to the next, I'm using the up and down arrow, Shift K, just show me what that edit is, and then it's gonna loop around and show me what that is. Okay, that's nice, I like that one, that's useful. The next one, this is no different than a lot of uh, video editing programs out, and it's the JKL keys, the shuttle keys on a North American keyboard, JKL, because they're, those three characters are beside each other. So if you use your right hand and you're tapping those keys, now I'm moving around in that area. So if you tap J, 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 you'll start going backwards fast. L is playing at normal speed, faster, 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 faster and I can tap K and L to stop moving at a fast speed and then play normal speed. So it's the same if you're going back or forward, the JKL keys. Now the cool thing about that is you can actually use these to do a very slow scrub. So if you go back to the days of, of big beta decks that had a big dial on it that actually had some weight behind them, as you push that dial slowly, it goes really slow and then speeds up. Now I'm doing that slow down uh, tape uh, impersonation, but and you can have that on Premiere Pro, it's just that scrolling right now keeps the pitch the exact same. So let's go over here and I'll tap, I'll hold the shift key down and tap L. L. And you can see it's moving very slow. And I can hear the dialogue. A little faster. Backwards. This is useful for the same reason it was useful back in the in the uh, the deck days. Is sometimes you want to find a certain uh, word or a certain consonant, and you're trying to find an edit at that point. So uh, still very useful, very old technique. It's just a hidden one. So that's the JKL keys with the shift key uh, held down. All right. So those I think are some important uh, playback controls, super useful ones that I hope you 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 employ if you find them very useful. Um, and they are, they can definitely help you jump around on here and get close instead of having to remove your hands off the keyboard and grab the mouse. It's the whole idea behind this. A lot of efficient editors will be very keyboard driven. All right. I want to thank you all for your wonderful support. If you're new to Video Revealed, please take a moment and subscribe. Something new that we're doing um, is we're now, uh, we have a Patreon page. And if you're not familiar with Patreon, Patreon is a way for you to show your support uh, financially to Video Revealed. So there'll be a link here for you to go and uh, be a Patreon member and help us on Video Revealed. And we'll invest that money back into the show to create great quality content. All right. Well, hopefully you found that uh, informative. Uh, I hope you start to use those great tools. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.